I mean, is that what you want? Is that what you want, Clarence? I need a drink. I need a drink. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kyra Shine. Today's video is brought to you by Wig Types. They were kind enough to send me another unit to review for you guys. But as always, before we get into the specs of this unit and what I think about it straight out the pack, make sure if you're new to the channel, you go ahead and subscribe and smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Let's go. Okay, so like I said, this unit was sent to us by Wig Types. It is from Sensational. It is a part of their Cloud9 Swiss Lace Wet Lace Collection. This is the brand new unit by the name of Zelina. This is what her car looks like. I got her in the color Flamboyage Auburn, and she does retail for $54.94, not including that $4 upcharge for specialty colors, which mine is, so my unit will be $58.94. These are the other specialty colors that this unit comes in, so if you wanna choose one for yourself, you can do that. It does come with a 13 by six HD lace parting area, so that's 13 inches from ear to ear, six inches deep, here in the middle but I will say the parting space on this unit definitely looks a little bit smaller than what it normally looks like like literally right here this is track it has two combs in the front one comb in the back and adjustable straps this unit is not big head friendly it's barely big head associated it is snug on my head like when I say snug I mean mm, this thing is hugging my head for dear life my temples are about to pop out of my skull like oh my goodness y'all how <laughs> I do have my hair still braided flat under this unit and I also have on my wig grip I think if I were to take off my wig grip I will be able to you know pull this off but I will was not going to spray this unit down just because one I didn't feel like it and two I should be able to wear my wig grips under my wigs okay Carol it's coming down where I have it on my hairline as well as on the back of my head and it comes down almost ear to ear but the snugness of the cap is what makes this not big head friendly I had to pull and pull and pull way too much to get this unit down on my head okay so big head friendly no big head associate maybe all my small heads rejoice I see y'all down in the comments sometimes all right you, you got one I know my baby hairs look a little wonky but the way this hairline was sitting on my head because the wig cap was too small it was sitting too far back on my forehead I looked ridiculous I got a whole bunch of real estate right here I need to cover that joint as much as possible so if I can't move the cap down anymore I need to go on with them baby hairs so judge me later this unit does come with a pre-plucked hairline and baby hairs however the pre-pluckedness of this hairline is not up to standard of what we're used to with the what lace collection the what lace collection was the standard for pre-plucked hairlines when it came to synthetic wigs Bobby Boston tried to do it out Altria has tried to do it and they still kind of fall short when it comes to the pre-pluckedness of the hairline. But sensational. What is what is this? I don't I don't know what happened to the hairline nor the parting space. I'm not sure what's going on, but back to the drum board. Okay, we we don't sensational the texture of this unit is a futura fiber so she is heat safe up to about 400 degrees i will say the texture is a lot better it feels a lot softer it feels a lot thicker so i'm here for that however it still sheds and tangles just like all the other ones i'm getting snags mainly towards the ends you guys can see that. Now the unit itself is a nice length. It comes down just at my chest. So that's about a good, I would say 22 inches. And this is how long she is to the side. She comes down about mid back for me. And this is how the unit looks to the back. I did put a little bit of heat here in the front because I wasn't sure how I was gonna wear this. I initially was going for the middle part and then I was like, you know what? I don't like it. I wanna do like a little flip over and then I was gonna do like the part. I didn't like the part. Cause like, you know what? I'm gonna do the whole flip over. Forget the part, I don't care. Like, I'm <laughs> I don't care anymore. I'm just gonna let it go how it goes. So that's how she's sitting, okay? Now let's talk about the lace really quick. This is their new HD lace, hashtag keep them guessing. That's what they said, okay? I didn't say that. Okay, hype. I will say the lace is a lot better. In the past, we've seen what lace come with that ashy white type of lace, and it takes a little bit more effort to blend that down. This literally took me no time. I did not spray it down. It's sitting on my head thanks to my wig grip and my edge boosters for these edges right here, okay? I use my Maybelline Fit Me 360 mocha powder. I use that under the lace, so before I put the wig on, and then around my hair, 
hairline, I use my contour shade. So what I do to carve out these cheeks, that's what I put around the hairline once I finish. And then I went in with my Maybelline Fit Me 330 in Toffee, which is a lighter powder, and I use that up into the hairline. That is what I did to lay this unit down. Let me come a little bit closer so you guys can see that, how that is looking. That is how she is looking, that's how she's sitting, and I'm okay with that. So yeah, this unit blended down like a dream. Like, I will give them that. So whether you spray it down or you just put it on like I did, then you can do that, okay? My favorite part about this unit is the color. I'm really happy that I tried this color out. They did a job, okay, on this hair color. I'm here for the hair color. What I'm not here for is the hairline and the parting space. We have given them feedback on the hair texture and the lace. We've been said the color of the lace is horrible, please fix it. The texture of the hair is horrible, please fix it. They fixed them both in this unit, but then they took away two things that we liked, the hairline and the parting space. I need a drink, I need a drink. Mm, it's water, relax. Are you trying to upset me, Sensational? Is that what you're doing? Is that what you're doing, sis? Cause I'm not understanding why I took out the two things that made this unit stand out from the crowd. I mean, is that what you want? Is that what you want, Clarence, huh? It's like, at least with the old units, we could blend the unit down and still had the bomb parting space and the hairline. Y'all know the other wet lace units, that lace went all the way around. This is like, now we got going and plucking. I, I don't want to pluck. I don't want to pluck. Another thing that I noticed with this hair, the hair up here is a little bit thinner than I would have liked. It feels real ratty right here. Like I feel like this is a track. Is that a, ch yeah. Like I feel like you can see, I feel like I feel a track or something. Is that a track? So yeah, that's a little weird. I'm not sure why it's so thin. Um, and before you guys say, oh, it's her braids that's peeking out, like my braid is pretty flat right there. Like it's not like a huge hump or nothing. Like it shouldn't be doing that. So I'm interested in seeing if anybody else had that issue with their unit, with it being a little thin on the top, because I'm just like, yeah, I don't like, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't want to have gaps in the back of my unit. Not for no $60. I also wish that there was a little bit more fullness with the unit. Some people don't like a lot of fullness. I like big hair though. It's a little bit more body down here, but it's kind of flat up here. She looks like she has some layers in here, right? It's not a layer. This piece is like a little layer, little layer here, but then back here, it's all, look at that, it's long. It's not a layer. So when I went to kind of move this hair to the side, expecting a whole bunch of body right here, and I didn't get that, I was kind of like, what's going on? Why did that not give me the look that I wanted? It's a short layer here in the front, and then the rest is behind this, it's just curled to look like it's in layers. So yeah, I was a little bummed about that, but that's just personal preference. Like, you can still make the unit work. I mean, yeah, she's a gorgeous, like y'all, she is a gorgeous color. Sensational never gets it wrong with the colors. The rest of it though is just kind of like, meh, okay, I'm a little underwhelmed. Don't get me wrong, I could rock this one again, maybe do like a little upstyle with her, but as far as the cons that I have with this unit, I'm a little disappointed in that, especially for this price point. This could have been a 100% hitter for the summer. So you guys decide whether you want this unit or you need this unit. It's up to you. I don't know how I feel. I really don't. Let me know what you guys think down below. But that is all I got for you guys today. Shout out to Wig Types for sending me this unit. I really appreciate it. I will put the direct link for this unit down below so you guys can check it out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.